by Gill, State of Corruption. I'm going to update you about our law enforcement. Remember, we told you, and you've seen through numerous videos, of us literally going to the FBI. I'm going to show you a small clip. You remember what happened there, right? You couldn't break the door down. Right. The parking lot's full of people. FBI. Speaker. Bell. Knocking. You'll see. Didn't answer the door. Because they're in on the scam, you cowards. Right. The FBI. Bunch of cowards. They know exactly who and what I'm saying. And who are guilty. I'm ringing the bell. Knocking on the door. It's a good thing it, it's an emergency. Is there somebody there? Do you have any place to go? I don't have any place to go. We're going to mess you up. We're going to be working out here. Should we give you some time? Excuse me? Should we not be... Oh, no, you can go by. No, we're actually going to be working right here. Is that okay? Is that going to be bothering you guys? Uh, we'll if you just give us a minute, we're just hoping them to open their door. Okay, yep. Yeah. Right. Something about reporting crimes. They ain't like, they don't like it. Okay. Hello, is there anybody from the FBI here? That'll like, folks. You don't actually believe nobody's behind that door, do you? So is it you're just listening? Well, if you are listening, I have a package that will help solve our heroin crisis in the state. Federal Bureau of Investigation, Department of Justice. Just checking. If it was anybody else, I think they might open the door. You're videotaping me? Listen, she comes back and videotape her. So you know what the difference with this time? You remember the last time they were waiting for me? You know why they were waiting for me? Because they had moles in the company that were telling them I was coming here. See, we don't have any moles anymore. You know how I know? Because they didn't know. And that's why they won't open the door. Okay. This is Mike Gill. Running for governor. We went to the DEA. We'll show you a small clip with that. Never heard of me. Really? I just sent you a package two weeks before, and two weeks before that. And within two miles of your office, a big sign that said drug dealers and telling you who they are. Right. See? They were told not to talk to me as the FBI. See? Do me a favor, turn that camera off so we don't have a problem. I don't want to have to have bed for PD come. Just let's talk Why? first. I have no idea who you are. Mike Gill, oh. I'm running for governor. Okay. State of corruption. All right. You know Put, who I am. No, actually, I don't. No, Put, do, is it by camera. law we have to shut this off? No, I'm asking you as a gentleman. No, I'm keeping it on okay. as a gentleman. All right. All right? I'm asking you to leave the property, okay? I don't know who you are. Oh, here's the package. ID. Here's the criminal package. Okay. Get the tape, Cole. This is a package about drug dealers. That we sent you here. Yep. Here, come on, get these guys in here. Here's the package. You got it. Now we mailed it. See that he gets it. See who gets it. The DEA. Okay. Investigate. Oh, you know what we have sir, in here? Why are you raising your voice? I'm just talking to you like a gentleman. I'm trying to find out. You haven't even shown me an idea. I don't know who you are. Well, Mike Hill, you know who I am. Okay, actually, I don't. You don't? No, I've you don't never know about state of corruption. You I've never know. met you. How about this? You know those big signs with the drug dealers on the signs? No. 
Rob, there's only two minutes from here. Okay. You're an investigator, right? Okay. Well, well if you I, investigate those have signs... Have I told you I was an investigator? You didn't say you weren't. No. Well, I'm, I'm just... So you're not? I'm just asking so who you are. So you are? Well, I'm asking who you are. Okay. What's your name? My name is John. John who? My name is John. That's all I'm going to tell you. Just John? Do you have some ID? Here. Of course I have an ID. All right. Well, you know that sign, mortgage you specialist? See, are, are you okay? You seem like you're out of breath. No, I'm fine. You sure? Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm just all trying right. to figure out yeah, what's yeah. going on. Here's my license, right? Mr. Gill? Gill. Yeah. Okay. And Mike Gill. Okay. Running well, can for I, governor. Well, can I help you? Well, see, we mailed that. You see that address right there? Right here. That's you, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, good. You get a package. Here's and then the drug task force people sent me a letter saying, hey, Bedford Police Department. Right. And so the Bedford Police Department invited me over. Right. Well, originally it was Chief Bryansky. You're going to see a chart I'm going to post on Chief Bryansky of the Bedford Police Department. You'd be interesting to know that this guy, five, six years ago, was in charge of two to three hundred investigators of the DEA throughout Mid-Atlantic, Delaware, Pennsylvania. Right, the DEA. Now he went up all the way to Bedford, and you can see how our heroin problem spiked. And you know what? They opened up the same DEA office in Bedford too, at the same time Bryansky come up here. This is the cover team, folks. Since they got here, we're up, I don't know, 5,000%? Nice job. Well, I went to see them. Confidential meeting. Brian Yansky, no, nah, no, nah, he didn't want to see me. In fact, he even said, Lieutenant Michael Griswold. That's who we were to see. Oh, no, no, Griswold's not around. We got a Sergeant Mahoney and an asshole named Skip. Right. And we sat down on video. I allowed them to videotape it. I just sent them a 91A to get Freedom of Information Act to get that video. And if I do get it, I'm going to show it to you. Right. You know what it was? They were there to get the evidence on our witnesses. And they gave it to the plaintiffs. You know, I know that's hard to believe. Because you had to believe. I just told you that Gatsis, Mayor Gatsis, did the same thing. He gave it to the drug dealers. We don't even have to guess. At the hearing with Judge Delker in Bedford, Shaheen's attorney McLaughlin goes up there. This is the attorney representing the plaintiffs. And said, they got the information from the Bedford Police Department in our meeting. Right. They gave them all the witnesses that we gave them. They gave them to the plaintiffs. I mean, are you understanding this? This isn't something we have to speculate. This is walking you with evidence, videotaping what's happening. The judge gets the criminal evidence and the plaintiffs in the case against Griner, Aganos, and Cruz and gives them the evidence. That's what we're dealing with. We're completely sold out. You know why we have the worst heroin problem? Because the police and law enforcement's involved. Judge Delker? They don't know that they're drug dealers? Are you kidding me? Gordon threatened the police officer, the arresting police officer. What do you think they'll do to the rest of the witnesses? <clears throat> but they're willing to come forward still. You understand, it has come to us. The courts are corrupt. Your law enforcement's are corrupt. It's business. Don't try to think that this is impossible. That's what they want you to do. Your law firms put in the judges. The judges now control the court. They made them politicians. Shaheen has their own law firm. With us, and Ayotte represents McLean. You've been sold out. That's it. From the courts to law enforcement. It is up to us. Like I said, we are going to become a watchdog group. And if we're not, it's over. Right.
you will never have justice. Never. You are a victim that's only going to get worse. We're going to have more deaths. We're going to have more corruption because they're completely unchecked and there's no one to go to. Look around. Isn't that what we're ha happening right now? I showed you that. The only option we have is to collect ourselves together as an entity that turns around and watchdogs these people and say you're corrupt and we take those candidates out. We insist with 30,000 of us that a judge gets recused. You see, it's up to us. And if we don't do it here and now, you lose and so do your children. There goes your future. They'll send an 18 year old to his death. Mike Gill, State of Corruption.